Great day, my dear grade 10 learners! Welcome to Valenzuela Live! I'm Jezebel Bola, your cookery teacher for today. Make sure to have a learning packet, pen, and paper to guide you in today's lesson. Are you ready with our fishy and healthy discussion? Great! To start the lesson, Allow me to give you today's learning competency, which is prepare and cook seafood dishes. And under this is the learning outcome to handle fish and seafoods. 2.1, handle seafood hygienically. 2.2, sow frozen seafood correctly to ensure maximum quality and maintain nutritional value. At the end of the lesson, learners are expected to do the specific objectives. Number one, identify ways to check the freshness of fish and shellfish. So, frozen fish and shellfish. And lastly, value the importance of fish and shellfish as one of the good source of protein. At this moment, let us see if you still remember our lesson last week. We're gonna have a short review. Do you know how the two types of fish differ from each other? Again, what are those two types of fish? Okay, we have fat fish and lean fish. Fat fish is known as what? Very good. Fat fish is high in fat, while lean fish is low in fat. Exactly. Now, can you give me an example of a fat fish? Yes, we have there a mackerel. Another example, yes, we have a salmon. Another one, we have a tuna. Now, let's go with a lean fish. Okay, the red snapper. Very good, the sole. And lastly, yes, we have a cut. So, those are just some examples of fish. Now, Let's make this picture of a fish a perfect one. So this activity is entitled Fish Perfect. What you will do is to label each part of a fish. So write your answer in the comment box as well as in our activity notebook. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. First part, okay, very good. We have there the mouth. Another part, okay, the eyes. Another, yes, the scales. What about the next part? That is, okay, the first dorsal fin. Another part is a second dorsal fin. What about the next? Okay, so that is a lateral line. Another is the pelvic fin. What else? Yes, we have there a caudal fin and anal fin. And lastly, we have there a pectoral fin. Perfect! So those are the parts of a fish. We have there the mouth, pectoral fin, dorsal fin, eye, lateral fin, or line, caudal fin, the scales, the anal fin, and the pelvic fin. Very good, grade 10. It seems that you are now ready to move forward. Am I right? That's great. But before going
going exactly to our lesson. I want you to answer this question. Have you ever been in a wet market? We're in pork, poultry, fish, and shellfish are being sold. Did you even know how to choose the fresh or good one? Okay, let's have your answer. Just write your answer on the comment box. Some says that they are the one who did the task regularly and confidently know how to choose fresh meat, fish, and shellfish. Others says that their mother are the one who went to the market but still have few knowledge and skills in choosing the fresh one. So I guess our lesson for today is a big help to everyone. Okay, so just go to a comfortable place and enjoy listening while learning. All right, so today we will talk about the handling of fresh and frozen seafoods. As we go along, here are the important parts of today's lesson. We have there the checking of fresh fin and fish, checking of freshness of a shellfish, handling and storage of fresh fish, another handling and storage of frozen fish, towing and handling of frozen fish, and lastly, the sixth one is towing and handling of a shellfish. So let's start on checking of freshness of a fin fish. First, it should be fresh and have a mild odor. Take a look at the picture. Does it look like a fresh? Yes, of course. Fresh from the water. How about the next? Next is concerning fish eyes. Because fin fish is fresh when their eyes are clear, shiny, and bulging. Thus, the eye of the fish in the picture clear and shiny? Yes, it is. The third thing to check is the fish gills or hasang in Tagalog term. The color of gills must be red or pink. Which of the two pictures there is fresh or has a fresh gills? Is it picture A or a picture B? All right. The first picture or picture A is the fish which has a fresh gills. As you can see, it has a red gills. What about the next picture? So that is not an example of a fish which has a good or fresh gills because it has a brown color already. The fourth thing to check is the flesh. Because fin fish is fresh and good enough if its flesh is firm and elastic. With the two pictures there, which one has a firm and elastic flesh? Okay, the first picture or the picture A is has a fle uh, fresh flesh and the picture B does not have a fresh flesh anymore. So not that kind of flesh is already falling or teared upon. Okay, lastly, we need to check the scales or of fish. So how? Fish fish should have a shiny scales. 
and tightening on the skin. Does the picture there have a shiny scales? So which one has a fresh scales? Okay, we have the picture A. So as you can see, it has an intact, shiny, and fresh scales. What about picture B? Okay, so as you can see, the scales of that fish is falling apart now. Okay. So these are all important when checking freshness of pin fish. Again, you need to check the odor, the eyes, the gills, its flesh, and the scales. Let's put a check in here as we know where to continue. Let's move on to the next part which is checking the freshness of a shellfish. When we say shellfish, this or any aquatic invertebrate animal having a shell that belongs to phylum mollusca. Number one, oysters, clumps, mussels in the shell must be alive and tightly closes shells when jostled. Live or shack oysters must have a very mild, sweet smell. Number three, discard any muscles that are very light in weight or seem to be hollow. Discard meaning to say you're going to remove, reject, or dispose. Number four, strong fish odor or brownish in color is a sign of age or spoilage. So that is not a good idea to consume or store anymore. Number five, live lobsters must be alive when cooked. The meat will be firm and tail springs back when straightened. Strong fishy smell indicates age or the spoilage. Frozen shrimp should be solidly frozen when received. Glazed shrimp should be shiny with no freezer burn. Shrimp should be smell fresh and sweet. Number nine, live crab should be kept alive until cooked. Frozen crab meat should be treated like any other frozen fish. So those are the key to consider when checking freshness of every shellfish like mussels, lobsters, shrimps, and oysters. So we're done with this. So let's continue. On this part is handling and storage of fresh fish. Number one, you need to store on fresh ice. Use deep pans to allow for drainage of melted ice. Cover container or store in a separate box away from other foods. Whole fish should be drawn because entrails deteriorate rapidly. Catfish should be wrapped or left in original moisture-proof wrapped. In a refrigerated box at 30 degree to 34 degree Fahrenheit or negative 1 degree to 1 degree Celsius. Number 3, fresh fish may be stored to 1 to 2 days. If kept longer, wrap and freeze immediately. Take note, store the fish for only one to two days, not three or four days. But if decided to keep the fish in several days, just place it in a clear, clean container, cover, wrap, then freeze as soon as possible. Number four, check store fish for freshness just before you see. 
We still have three topics to go, so keep going. This time is the proper handling and storing of frozen fish. Yes, even if it is already frozen, it also needs a proper touch. Number one, frozen products should be frozen, not told when received. Number two, items should be well wrapped with no freezer burn. Three, store at negative 18 degrees Celsius or colder. So we need to follow the right temperature needed when storing fish. Number four, maximum storage time of Fat fish is two months. Again, when we say fat fish, those are fish which is high in fat. And then lean fish can be stored at six months. When we say lean fish, those are fish which is low in fat. Number five is rotate stock. F-I-F-O or the FIFO. When we say FIFO, first in, first out. We're almost there. So let's continue. Now is the towing and handling of frozen fish. Tow in refrigerator. Never at room temperature. If pressed for time, Keep in original moisture proof wrap and tow under cold running water. That's a big no to tow frozen fish at a room temperature. Number two, small pieces like fillets and steaks can be cooked frozen to prevent excessive drip loss. Large fish should be towed for even cooking. Number three, fillets that are to be breaded can be partially towed. Number four, handle towed fish as fresh fish. Do not refreeze. Number five, breaded buttered, and other frozen prepared fish are mostly cooked from frozen steak. And lastly is towing and handling of shell fish. Number one, for mussels, keep refrigerated under 32 degree Fahrenheit to 35 degree Fahrenheit or zero to 2 degrees Celsius and protect from light. Then store in original sack and keep sack dumb. When it comes to scallops, shock scallops can be cooked without further preparation. Keep scallop covered and refrigerated under the temperature of 30 degree Fahrenheit to 34 degree Fahrenheit. So do not let scallops rest directly on ice or they will lose flavor and become watery. Lobster. Live lobster must be packed in moist seaweed, kept in a cool place in salt water. Cooked lobster must be covered and refrigerated at 30 degree Fahrenheit to 34 degree Fahrenheit. Cooked lobster is very perishable and should be used in one to two days. When it comes to shrimp, Keep or cap frozen at negative 18 degrees Celsius or lower. 
then tow and refrigerator. Real trip should be wrapped before placing on ice. Shrimps to be served hot must be peeled and deveined before cooking. Deveined means removing of dark dorsal vein from shrimp. Next, shrimps to be served cold must be peeled after cooking to preserve flavor. Crabs, live crabs, should be kept alive until cooked. Frozen crab meat is very perishable when told. It must be treated like any other frozen fish. So these are the important topics for today. As with any type of food, it is important to handle seafood safely to reduce the risk of foodborne illness or food poisoning. Follow those safe handling tips, buying and storing fish and shellfish. So you and your family can safely enjoy the fine taste and good nutrition of seafood. Congratulations, Grayton! You are all amazing! At this moment, I'm really proud we're already in this part. So let's prove how truly amazing you are. We are now in your assessment part. What you will do is to fill in the missing word. Provided below is a word box that will help you to complete the statement. Write the answer on the comment box as well as in your activity notebook. So you have five seconds to answer. Are you ready? Okay, number one. In checking the freshness of fish, blanc are clear, shiny, and bulging. Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is I, then you got it right. Fish, number two, fish blanc are red or pink in color. Your five seconds starts now. Time is up. If your answer is gills, then you are correct. Fish gills are red or pink in color. Number three. Texture of blanc is firm and elastic. Your five seconds starts now. Okay. If your answer is flesh, you are correct. Texture of flesh is firm and elastic. Number four, fish must be fresh and has a mild lump. Five seconds starts now. Okay, if your answer is odor, you are very good. Fish must be fresh and has a mild odor. Number five, fresh fish has shiny blanc and tightly cling on skin. Five seconds starts now. If your answer is scales, then you got it right. 
fresh face has shiny scales and tightly cling on skin. If you got the correct answer from item 1 to 5, then you are truly amazing. Keep going. Next part of our assessment is true or false. You're going to write true if the statement is correct and false if not. So write your answer in the comment box as well as in your activity notebook. Again, you have five seconds to think for your answer. Good luck! Number one. Strongly fishy odor or brownish color is a normal sign of age or spoilage. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts now. If your answer is true, you got it right. Number two. Small pieces like fillets and steaks should be told for even cooking. True or false? Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is false, that is correct because small pieces like fillets and steaks can be cooked from frozen steak to prevent excessive drip loss. Number three, people means first in, first out. Is it true or false? Your five seconds starts now. If your answer is true, you got it right. Number four. All shrimps should smell fresh and sweet. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts now. If your answer is true, then you are correct. Number five, choose muscles that are very light in weight or seem to be hollow. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts now. If your answer is false, then you are Correct. You need to discard any muscles that are very light in weight or seem to be hollow. Number six. Fresh fish should have shiny scales and tightly cling on skin. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts now. If your answer is true, then you are correct. Number seven. Fresh fish may be stored for four to five days. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts. If your answer is false, then you are Correct, because fresh fish may be stored for one to two days only. But if you want to keep it longer, wrap and freeze immediately. Number eight, cooked lobster meat must be covered and refrigerated at 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts now. If your answer is true, you got it right. Number nine. Shrimp to be served cold 
must be filled and baked before cooking. Is it true or false? Five seconds starts now. If your answer is false, then you are correct. Because shrimp to be served cold must be peeled after cooking to preserve flavor. Number 10. Oyster, clams, mussels, and the shell must be alive and tightly closed as shells when jostled. Is it true or false? Five seconds. If your answer is true, then you got it right. How many of you got a perfect score of 50? Very good. That indicates that you are a good listener and learner as well. To sum up our lesson for today, please complete each statement Write your answer in your activity notebook and in the comment box below. Before you start, I'll give you my version. I know how to check freshness of fish and shellfish. I will do the right handling procedure for every fish and shellfish. And I will share this knowledge to my family and friends. If you have any questions or clarifications, you may ask your subject teacher for sure. They, are, they love to answer all your questions. Great, Ted, you really did a great job. And now, for your assignment, make a short blog featuring how to choose fresh fish and seafoods. Post it in your Facebook wall and use the hashtag handle fish and seafood. And you will be graded by the given rubrics. Again, learners, I'm proud and happy that we successfully finished this lesson. Always bear in mind, anuman ang sitwasyon, tuloy ang edukasyon. Once again, I'm your cookery teacher, Mrs. Jezebel Bola of Bignay National High School. Thank you and stay safe. See you next week. Bye!